Welcome to Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. Listen, if you want to become a pro, you got to start at the beginnings, and I'm here to help you with that. Trust me, after this, you'll be on your way to becoming a pro. Now, just a preference, I am using standard control settings and not classic, so just, you know what I'm saying? If it's not working for you, check your settings. Now, first things first, you got to know how to guard. You got to get good at guarding, so definitely get used to timing vanishes by holding R1 and then using the analog stick left and right. That is going to be key to this game by timing. So it's something that's going to come over time or just now natural instinct but just know that is one of the keys to becoming a pro in this game next up let's go over the counter you're gonna press circle but you gotta time that as well timing is the name of this game now listen a lot of people are already catching on you will get baited so try to you know kind of fake out your counters don't be obvious with your counters you gotta time it correctly but if somebody catches you slipping you're free game next let's go over a little bit of offense listen key blast yes use your key use your key blast it is your bread and butter. It's gonna connect combos. It's really more for like defensive options and offensive options as well, but just make sure you're throwing it out. It mostly interrupts most characters that are, or people in front of you that are trying to hit you. So just when in doubt, key it out. Now note, this doesn't work against armored characters. You're gonna have a tough time going against them. Sometimes your charge key blast can go through, but you're gonna have a tough time. So you gotta get space against them. One more thing is that other characters you use have different types of key blasts. So that some of them go slow, some of them linger, some of them spread out. So just be mindful of that. Next, we're gonna go through the simple standard combo, just pressing square, you know, the melee button, and you're just gonna mash that. Uh, and you could do it in any different direction just to send them anywhere, but it's a simple B and B. You're really gonna wanna mix it up with the triangle button. Now, this is where you really get creative, baby. Listen, now you can do different strings like pressing square once and then triangle or then square, square, triangle. And then you could do it in different directions. Notice if you press square, square, triangle down, it's gonna trip them. So definitely make sure to mix it up or you're cooked. Hey, and just like the key blast, this varies from character to character. Every character has their own strings that you have to learn separately, so hey, you better go ahead and get into training. Now here's another great tip for you that a lot of people ain't really tapping into. This game has the best side stepping in any Dragon Ball game I've ever seen. Even better than the old Tenkaijis and Raging Blast. So the key to sidestepping is you have to guess where your opponent is and just really gauge it out. So when they get closer or dash into you, the second they're about to hit, sidestep. So it leaves their back open or side exposed. Then you can either do a key blast or start your combo strings. I caught some people slipping, not gonna lie. So this is the one you wanna go for. Now let's tap into the specials a little bit. So you got your D-pad, the up and down D-pad and left and right D-pad. These are utility supers or specials. And it just depends. It varies on character to character what you get. Some of them aren't that great, but some of them are OP. So be like, test out your characters, depending on it's unique to you, but see if their utility is good or not. It's gonna take you far. Now do know these utility specials do take your skill points. So be very wary, it's gonna have a number right next to it. And if it's a high number, these are hard to come by. So be aware of that. Now let's get into your key base specials. Now these specials are like your basic blast or rush attacks. And you probably need like two key bars or maybe three now getting key is very hard in this game because people can rush you super quick so be aware and just be cautious of how you charge your key all right so that's a quick little basic guide for you just to get you started off your feet just for beginners now we will probably get an in-depth advanced guide you know your boy is the go so i'll put you on so stay on notice for that because i'm gonna update you oh and i want to give a shout out to andre henderson i do a random subscriber shout out each video so go ahead and hit that button all right if you like the video then like the video. Make sure to wipe your booty and wash your hands. It's your boy Send You in Japan. I'll see y'all soon.